Hey guys, welcome to Dave's Country Den. I got a great video for you today. This is going to be a venison meatloaf. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to make. Um, it's got a few of my own ingredients in there and I love this little mixture. My family loves it so I like to share it with you guys. Um, first off, I'd like to go ahead and thank my family, um, my mother-in-law and father-in-law for this great gift. I don't know how your Christmas was, you guys, but <laughs> mine was great. Um, I got this nice sweater uh, with the JTO logo there. I mean, so, you know, uh, it's a very nice addition to the uh, apparel. So you will be seeing it in more videos. Thank you guys again. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get on with this video. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it, it has a lot of nice, nice little textures to it. So that way you'll be able to enjoy this with your family too. I'm gonna go through the, uh, the ingredients we have here. We have some uh, parsley, garlic, um, oregano, also some flour and, uh, and tandoori spice here. This is just my spice mix. Um, standard spice mix and then I have two eggs um, and a half cup of milk about a cup and a half of onions um, I'm going to use just about that much and about a cup and a half of red bell peppers my turkey ground turkey and ground venison I've showed you how to do the ground venison in a video so um, and uh, actually that one's coming up here shortly so you should see that on how to grind up your venison and get that nice and consistent um, also I have a cup and a half of garlic and cheese um, croutons and a, a cup and a half of butter and garlic croutons. So I'm going to go ahead and grind these up really quick. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is get my wets together and then mix in the dries. So you want to separate those into two batches. So You'll, it'll mix a lot better. So I have my one pound of turkey meat here and then I'm going to take about a pound about a pound of venison okay maybe a little bit more all right got some in that in, in that brick crumbs but I'm okay there I may give it a little bit more just because the venison is so fluffy right now because I just ground it so then I'm going to go ahead and put in my onions. I'll put in a cup and a half of that. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put in my cup and a half of red bell peppers here. And you can put in more if you want to your, to your liking. That's up to you. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in my breadcrumbs. It's about two cups of breadcrumbs here. When you're all crushed up and my eggs now got that going put in my seasoning and then I have my milk all right so I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up here and this is where you want to go ahead and get in there and really mix it up good And it looks like a com like kind of like a confetti mix right now. It looks like a Mexican fiesta <laughs> with their onions and the bell peppers. And all right, so you just mix all of this together, and you want to form it into a loaf. Gonna form this into a, a loaf here. Put it right in this pan. All right. And then I'm gonna bake this in the oven, 30, uh, 375 degrees for an hour. I'm gonna cover it and then bake it and then take it off for a little bit and put my sauce on after it's done. Okay, so here we have um, our just about finished product. Um, I took the, the um, 
foil off, the aluminum foil, and let it brown a little bit and harden on top. So as you can see, it looks pretty nice now. And all of the juices and broth that was in there actually evaporated off um, once I took the once I took the the aluminum foil off. So now I'm going to make my sauce to go on top. I have some mustard here. It's about a tablespoon there. I'm going to add in some barbecue sauce. You can use your choice of barbecue sauce. Um, it's nothing specific, but I like Sweet Baby Ray's. It's a really nice one. Um, it's smooth, not too tart, not bitter at all. So then also I'm going to add in about a, so this is about a half a cup of barbecue sauce and then a half a cup of ketchup. Um, and then a tablespoon of mustard. So that's going to have a really nice mixture. Um, I've been using this for years. Um, it, it adds a little bit of tartness to the ketchup because the ketchup is so sweet and that they counter each other and then the barbecue sauce just adds a smoky depth to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and um, put my sauce on. You want to make sure that you cover it really good. I'm going to turn the oven up to 400 degrees so this will just bake on really good and it'll thicken up just the way I like it. Back into the oven you go. Right. Now I'll give that about 20 minutes here to thicken up and it'll be ready. Okay, so here we have it. It's all ready now. Um, gonna go ahead and get into this. Man, it's looking so delicious. Mm. Really good flavor. And the sauce is just perfect. Not too thick, not too thin. Exactly what I like. Well, another episode of Dave's Country Den comes to an end. Till next time, when we take you from the tree stand to the table, enjoy your harvest.